As Microsoft's preparing to spend $80 billion on investments, the company's cutting a whole bunch of positions. We knew it was coming, at least for the past few days, we've been hearing rumors about layoffs at Microsoft. And today the company officially is announcing that they are joining the legion of many other companies around the globe and cutting some serious headcounts. So Microsoft announced it today, officially through filings and every other place you gotta drop the information that they are gonna be cutting headcount at their company to the tune of 10,000 positions. Now that's roughly 5% of their overall headcount. Microsoft's uh, total headcount is somewhere around 220-ish thousand employees, which if you've been following Microsoft for a long time, to me, that's just, it's a huge number, but that doesn't mean it makes it any easier to hear that people are going to be losing their jobs, especially at this time with a, a lot of market uncertainty. So up on your screen here, this is the official, I believe, email that Satya sent to employees announcing all this. I'm not going to read the entire thing, but I do want to point out a couple notable items in here, and I'll read one small paragraph here. Uh, first, we will align our cost structure with our revenue and we where we see customer demand T today. We are making the changes that will result in the reduction of our overall workforce by 10,000 jobs through the end of fiscal year 23 Q3, which is basically, I believe, March of 2023. Uh, this represents less than 5% of our total employee base with some notifications happening today. It's important to note that while we are eliminating the roles in some areas, we will continue to hire in key strategic areas. We know this is a challenging time for each person impacted. The senior leadership team and I are committed that as we go through this process, we will do so in the most thoughtful and transparent way possible. So that's pretty self-explanatory. It looks like Microsoft is going to be reducing headcount in areas that they don't see as much growth potential and obviously still hiring in places that do, more notably probably their AI divisions and everything else uh, along those lines. One of the things that I thought was really super interesting here, it says, as such, we are taking a $1.2 billion charge in Q2 related to severance costs changes to our hardware pro portfolio and the cost of lease consolidations as we get higher density across our workspaces. The key there being our hardware portfolio. Microsoft doesn't have a lot of hardware. They have their Xbox consoles, which I don't believe are impacted by this. I believe this is actually related to Surface. We actually heard not long ago that Microsoft canceled the Surface Duo 3 and they're moving in a different direction while they still are launching a device, but that means that they had hardware that they're getting rid of. And I think there were some other devices potentially canceled along the way. And we don't know how much of that $1.2 billion charge is tied to hardware, but the fact that they put it in there is notable that it is related to that to a shift in strategy within the surface division at least that is how i interpret it and then not too surprisingly uh lease consolidation as a create higher density across their workspaces this is a big shift that the retail or i should say real estate market has seen across the industry where employers such as microsoft just don't need as much space because hey people are working from home and when you work from home why should you be paying rent on a cubicle or office space that is no longer needed needed. So unfortunately for Microsoft employees, it's not everybody's getting notified today. There's going to be a lot of uneasiness here through March as Microsoft continues to make cuts and managers have to make really tough decisions. It's just layoffs are just a Nobody likes this process. It's never good. Uh, having been through it myself, been on the receiving end of a layoff, I can tell you it, it's never great. And no, ever, nobody enjoys this process. And, but it's the reality of the business. And you can see the, the proof is in the pudding that Microsoft was taking a big charge along this and reducing headcount. I don't, I'll be curious to see if we ever understand truly how the layoffs break down. Like what divisions you would imagine are going to be impacted harder than others. Obviously, something is happening in Surface. Is Xbox going to be impacted at all? Is Bing going to be impacted at all? Or is it more of just a little bit of everything from everywhere? And Microsoft is just cutting people who potentially had low performance reviews, which is why those are so critical, especially in these really large companies. When you have hundreds of thousands of employees and you're cutting 5%, even though Microsoft will still be over roughly 200,000 people, it's still 10,000 employees are, are going to be you know, looking for new positions. So uh, we will see. Now, it goes without saying that this is just still really awkward because on one hand, Microsoft is still trying to spend $70 billion to get the Activision Blizzard deal, which that is going through the courts. They also recently announced that they're going to be spending or looking to spend, I think, according to the rumors, I shouldn't say officially, but another investment into open AI, which is another roughly $10 billion. So it's not that Microsoft doesn't have the money or that they are in any sort of position of going like filing a chapter 11. That is crazy talk at this point. 
But the reality is, is like, hey, we're cutting headcount over here while we're spending a whole bunch over here. But that's the nature of the business, unfortunately, because the investments that Microsoft believes they're making with ABK and OpenAI are forward looking and more than likely where they are reducing headcount primarily, at least how it should make sense, are areas of less opportune growth or maybe the businesses that just don't make as much sense for the company to be investing and they're just going to continue to ride those waves out, which means they are reducing headcount in those areas as well. I mean, you, one of the things that's interesting to me is like, okay, Microsoft, how much is Microsoft putting into chat applications? They've got Skype, they've got Teams for, for work, which that's not going anywhere. They've also got Teams for consumer. And like, you can begin to look and say like, okay, Microsoft, maybe it's time to just refocus and, and do some of that. Although I hate using the word synergies of the company, but that's probably how they are, are pitching. I guess synergies is probably like an early 2010s terminology uh, across, across the org. So yeah, not good news in the world of Microsoft as they continue to try to realign. Now, considering the fact that they are still hiring, it looks like maybe this is potentially overdue. Although Microsoft did have a small layoff announcement. Uh, it was back in, I want to say November-ish, sometime around there. Remember late last year, Microsoft did a small headcount reduction. So much so, I don't even think they filed documentation with the SEC. It was that small, but obviously being at 10,000 people and the fact that they have to take a $1.2 billion charge is material and requires a statement like the one you see on the screen continuing to go. So what is what is next here? Well, Microsoft has to go through the process of laying all these people off, which means over the next few months, right, I should say maybe eight weeks or so, something like that, it is mid-January after all, you're probably going to be seeing a lot of things maybe on the Twitters and the Reddits of people being laid off. Famously, we don't know what else is happening in the world of Windows, which is near and dear to my heart as well. Uh, last time a layoff of this size happened, it was a lot of the developer, uh, the QA team for Windows, and they, mm, we all kind of know how that has played out over, over the following years with bugs and everything else uh, shipping out. So the thing we'll be looking for here is trying to understand the impact across the different orgs. Is Xbox going to be impacted to what degree Windows, I would expect? I think there's a better chance of Windows being impacted potentially than Xbox. But again, this is all still too fresh and you have to wait and see because once 10,000 people walk out are being pushed out the door, you're definitely going to learn what divisions are impacted. And I suspect that information will leak out here in the next few days uh, or I should say next coming, coming weeks as we learn more. Now, notable things to keep in mind is a week. I believe it's a week from today, Microsoft will release their earnings. So we'll potentially get some more information around that time of how this is playing out and where Microsoft is making cuts. They may not go that specific. The thing to take away from here is that it looks like Microsoft is forecasting that revenue growth is going to be tough. Now, granted, revenue growth has been exceptional for many, many, many years. And it looks like that massive growth quarter over quarter is coming to an end. And Microsoft is making these cuts ahead of uh, what is likely to be slower growth time. And so next week, we will get our first real look at Microsoft's uh, earnings, which might be foreshadowing with these layoffs. Uh, that they're not going to be as good as potentially as expected. So we will learn more as Microsoft drops that information next week. And if you want to stay updated happening, everything in the world of Microsoft, Xbox, and beyond, make sure to keep it subscribed here because the only BS on this channel is me.